With his control of fire and his growing brain, Erectus is the Superman of his day. But how does he fare against a tough competitor? Near Swartkron, South Africa, evidence reveals that Erectus lived alongside another early human called Robustus. Paleoanthropologist Lucinda Backwell is studying Robustus. Her recent discoveries tell us what kind of rival he was. Like Erectus, Robustus solved a critical problem, eating enough protein to power his large brain. Brain tissue burns 16 times more calories than muscle tissue at rest. Erectus probably got his protein by scavenging for meat. If Backwell finds that Robustus was also eating meat, it may be a clue that Robustus and Erectus competed head-to-head -head for the same food. Experts long believed Robustus was a plant-chewing simpleton, not in the same league as Erectus. But a recent chemical analysis of Robustus's fossils suggests he was somehow eating animal protein. Where and what was he hunting? The environment when Erectus and Robustus lived here was really very much the same as today. The carnivores at the time were lots of hyena, all of the big cats, leopard, panthers, lion. It was a very dangerous environment. These ape men that were living here were really the hunted. They were the prey of the carnivores. So Erectus and Robustus were the hunted. On the way to getting enough protein, they also had to dodge predators. Clues to how Robustus got his protein are hidden in bone tools discovered near his fossils. To find out how Robustus used his tools, Backwell makes duplicates for a field test. Then she digs for tubers. Erectus probably did this, so why not Robustus too? Then she searches for insects, gouging the tree bark. Finally, she digs for termites. Like a crime scene investigator, she compares resin casts of the ancient Robustus tools and her own tools from her field experiments. The scratch-by-scratch -scratch comparison gives her a break in the case. The marks from termite digging look like those on the ancient tools of Robustus. It was a very clear match. We think Robustus was the user of these tools and that he was using them to forage for termites. Chimps are renowned for using twigs to probe for termites. But chimps gather termites only in the rainy season, exploiting holes created by the termites themselves as they leave their nests. But Robustus, with his stronger tool, could break into the concrete hard mud year round. It's interesting because 100 grams of fish, uh, that gives one 74 calories. Um, 100 grams of steak gives one 340 calories. And the same amount of termites, 560 calories. So they're full of uh, fat and protein. So if Robustus didn't eat red meat, he didn't compete directly with Erectus. What was their relationship? When one considers that these two ape men are living on the same hill, it's of course really fascinating and tantalizing. Two early humans lived here. Both found animal protein. Both were smart, but one may not have been smart enough. It must have been kind of like that television show Survivor where everyone's trying to get as much out of the environment as they can at any one time and they're trying to outcompete and out survive the other one and one of them eventually doesn't. Evidence found in Erectus's fire pit 
indicates that Robustus wasn't his rival at all. Instead, he may have been his prey. Disturbingly, among the charred fossils, researchers found a finger bone of Robustus. Did Erectus, our ancestor, kill and eat another human? Was that someone eating a close relative? There isn't any reason to think not. So it, it wouldn't be surprising if Homo erectus went out for a little bush meat and found another bipedal ape. 